Good day, everyone. Our topic is right attitude to work. When you are talking of right attitude to work, let's look at the meaning of attitude. What do you mean by what do we mean by attitude? Your behavior towards a particular thing. For example, your behavior towards your work. That's what you mean by right attitude to work. This is the habit of facing one's job with every form of seriousness. The habit of facing one's job with every form of seriousness. It could also mean the degree of seriousness an individual puts to what he does and how he does it. For example, as a worker in a particular company, you are to resume by seven. If you are coming around eight or even seven thirty, your attitude towards your work is not good. So this is telling you that your behavior, your attitude towards your work. We are talking of right attitude to work. There is no organization that we accept you coming late to work. So your attitude towards your work is very, very important. Even if you don't have anything to do at your place of work, you must resume at the expected time. Now, this right attitude to work can only be achieved through commitment. You must be committed to your work. For example, in an organization where you are working and you are earning, they are giving you money at the end of the month. You must put right attitude to that your work. If you don't put that right attitude to your work, you know, for example, in Nigeria, in our society today, there are many people looking for a job. So if your attitude is not good towards your work, they can send you away at any time. So your attitude to your work is very, very important. And this can be, like, can be made possible through dedication, hard work, zeal, and discipline. What are the attributes of right attitude to work? Number one, we have honesty. As we used to say it, that honesty is the best legacy. legacy. So to show right attitude to work, one must be honest to the employer and other staff. You know, if you are working in an organization, there are other staff that you will relate with. So you must be honest to your employer, then to other staff of that organization in order to achieve a common goal. You know, you are working towards achieving a particular goal in the organization. So you must work together, you must be honest to your employer and to other staff in that organization in order to achieve the goal. Then another one is integrity. Integrity is the ability to withstand pressure and do what is right, which could be made possible through discipline. You know, integrity in an organization, you may want to compromise. When it gets to a particular time, you may want to compromise. But this integrity is telling you that in an organization where you are working, you must be able to withstand any pressure that may come your way. You must be able to withstand it. Then another one is commitment. You must be committed. What should be committed and devoted to a given task? in order to ensure a complete job or achieve a goal. So you must be committed to your work if you want to have right attitude to work. So commitment, one should be committed and devoted to a given task. You must be committed to the task being given to you by your employer or by your senior in that organization in order to ensure a complete job or in order to achieve a goal. Then another one is regularity. Regularity. You must go to your place of work at every time. You must be regular. Not that you will come today. Tomorrow you will not come. 
So if you want to have right attitude to work, you must be regular. So this is the habit of going to work every day at the resumption time. At the resumption time. As one must work for the money any. If you are collecting salary in that organization, they are giving you money at the end of the day. Or they are, they are giving you wages. Maybe at the end of the week, at the end of the day, at the end of the month. You must be regular at that place of work. So ability to go to your place of work every day at the resumption time. And there must be a genuine reason for resuming late. If you need to go to your place of work very late, there must be a genuine reason. You must have reasons or reason in order for, for resuming late. Then another one is diligence. This is the practice of being active, industrious, and hard working in your place of work. Not that you will, just, you will get to your place of work and will just sit down doing nothing. And you will see others running at a sketcher in order for them to achieve the organizational goal. That is no good. You must be active. You must be industrious. Then you must work very hard in order for you and other staff to achieve the goal of the organization. So I've been, talked about the attributes of right attitude to work. I've discussed honesty, integrity, commitment, regularity. Then the last one is diligence. This is the practice of being active. I've talked about that, being industrious. Then we have the reward. What are the rewards for right attitude to work? Let's look at it. If you have right attitude to your work, what are the rewards you are going to get at the end of the day? For example, the first one that we have here is higher productivity. If you are very active at your place of work, and other staff, they are also active, the goal or the objective of that organization will be achieved at a very short time. Not that it will take you more than three, three weeks or a month before you can achieve that goal. You can achieve the goal within two or three days. If all the staff, if they are very active and industrious. So in a school, let's use school as an, as, as an example. Your attitude towards your study. How do you, uh, uh, what is your attitude? to your study. If a teacher is coming to your class, what is your reaction, your attitude towards that teacher? If a teacher is teaching in your class, what is your reaction? So your attitude towards your work, towards your study is very, very important. So we, we, the rewards for right attitude to work, number one is higher productivity. If you put more effort to your study, you will discover that you will perform better for example, if you have been scoring 2 over 10, 3 over 10, if you, if you put more effort, you can score 10, 10. You can score 9 over 10. So you, your attitude towards your work must be positive. So higher productivity. Your results will be better than what you have been having before if you have right attitude to work. Another one is progress. In the school, if you have attitude, you have right attitude to your studies, you will continue to move from one class to another. Not that you will stay in a class for more than three sessions. And let me tell you, there is no school that will allow a student to stay in a school more than two sessions. If you repeat this session, next session you still repeat. Before you know it, they will tell you to go and try another school. So if you have right attitude to your work, you will progress. You will move from one class to another. You will be going higher every day. Then another one is recognition. Recognition, if you put right attitude to your work, to your studies, you will be recognized. People of that environment or in the organization, they will recognize you. If you visit this school, you will be recognized by the head of the school, by the parents 
by all other staff members, they will recognize you because you have put right attitude to your work. Maybe last time you came first, this time first, you will discover that everybody, they will like to relate with you. They will like to make friends with you because everybody, you have been recognized in such a school. Another one is efficiency. Before you know it, you will be very, very active. People will like to relate with you. They will like to come to you. This right attitude to work, even if you, if, if you are not a student, you will, if you have a right, right attitude to your work, you will discover that people of that environment, they will like to relate with you because they know that once they relate with you, their success is sure. The same thing in a school. If you are this time, you are called out by the principal that you are the first overall. How will you feel? Then other students, they will love to come to you, to come and ask for the secret, without knowing that you have put right attitude to your studies. So those are the rewards for right attitude to work. I've mentioned higher productivity, progress, recognition, and efficiency. Before we call it a day, Let's quickly go over what I've explained. The topic is right attitude to work. So the habit of facing one's job with every form of seriousness. Habit of facing your work, your studies, with every form of seriousness. It could also mean the degree of seriousness an individual puts to what he does and how he does it. Now, the attributes of right attitude to work. We have honesty, integrity, commitment, regularity, diligence. Before you can have right attitude to work, these are the things that you must have. Inte honesty, integrity, commitment, regularity, and diligence. Then the rewards for right attitude to work. There will be higher productivity, there will be progress, then there will be recognition. You will be recognized. Then efficiency. So these are the rewards for right attitude to work.